Well, good evening, all. That was still redneck. Been trying to stay off the YouTube for a while. Trying to keep the blood pressure down. Yeah, I got turned on the phone a little bit ago and looked at the news. What's the thing, first thing I read? Biden's mandating vaccines for everybody. All, any company having more than 100 employees. He's tired of these unvaccinated people screaming about rights. Uh, it's his job to protect Americans. Well, he didn't seem to think much of that when he was trying to uh, uh, evacuate Afghanistan. It was more about uh, let somebody else put words in his mouth, kind of like they're doing now. You know, if you want to get vaccinated, that's your choice. If you don't, that's also your choice. You take your chances. Kind of like crossing the street. Does everybody just give it up their balls and let the government just uh, tell you what to do, when to wipe your ass and everything else? Sure seems like it lately. Yeah. Uh, but you know, there's one group that's immune to this uh, vaccine mandate, just in case people missed it. It's all the illegal refugees. They don't have to get vaccinated. Why is that? You know? Are they pumping up the fear factor again because of the fact they have an election coming up and Biden has screwed up so much they're afraid all the Democrats are going to lose? That's what I think. But what do I know? I know one thing. I ain't getting vaccinated. I don't plan on it. If it hits me, it hits me. I don't care. The way I see it, if you're vaccinated, why are you worried about if I'm not? And if what I understand, people that are vaccinated are getting this thing more than the unvaccinated. But then that could be misinformation, as I say. I don't know. There's so many stories out there, whether it be from the government or other people. Who knows what to believe? I damn sure don't trust Fauci. <clears throat> Anybody that does is an idiot. The man changes his mind like most people change their shorts. Unless you're a Democrat and don't ever change them. But there's a big difference between... Uh, Republicans, Democrats, or right-wingers and left-wingers. Give you a case study. Uh, candidates running for uh, governor in this recall race out here, Larry Elder. He's out at a homeless camp in Venice, California, down in Southern California. You know, talking to people, doing this, walking the streets like he does. Of course, he had his people with him, and you know, and somebody decided to throw eggs at him, and racial epithets and everything else. Yeah, his his people got him out of there and all that. He talked to the people in the homeless camp. They've never seen that person. Well, of course, the person was wearing a gorilla mask, and it was a white woman. Now, Larry Elder is a black man. He's also a Republican. Now... There are a couple different ways you can handle this thing. And I happen to agree with the article I read Larry this morning, or today. If he was a Democrat, and that happened to it, every newspaper, every TV station would be saying he was attacked by, there's systematic, there's systematic racism because he's black and it was a white woman that attacked him and all this blah, 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 blah. As he said, he's had articles in East Coast magazines about the recall. They say he's a Republican. They say he's running for governor. They don't mention a thing about him being black. He said, I don't care. He said, I don't break out the race card like uh, Obama does, Sharpton does, you know, Black Lives Matter does, everybody else. If he was a Democrat, they would have blown it all over the newspapers. But you know, the man's got class which is something you don't see out of Democrats. He said, the person could have been just mentally deranged or, you know, just didn't like me. He said, 
That's all I think about it. He said, I talked to the people in the homeless camp. They said, they've never seen her. So, you take it for what it's worth, but it shows me the man has style and he has class. I personally like the man. I've been listening to him on the radio, watching his little podcasts, and all that. He doesn't play the old pity me card. He doesn't play, oh, you have to give me a break because I'm black. None of that shit. He said, here's what I want to do for California. Here's what I think it needs. Make your own mind up. Well, as for me, my vote's been cast for him. So, <clears throat> Mr. Elder, if you happen to ever see this, I wish you the best of luck. But uh, it just goes to show, if you, if you get a D by your name, the press will bend over backwards to make sure you're a hero or, you know, or you've been villainized, you know, by somebody. If you actually want to do something for the people, the press are going to do nothing but try to bury you. You know, it's, uh, strange. It's, and has anybody noticed that how the press is trying to push Afghanistan out of the picture, out of the newspaper, all this other crap? You know, they're trying to make it a celebrated thing for Biden. Well, frankly, I think, Mr. Biden, you done totally screwed up. and You've been screwing up by the numbers since you started. If any Democrat gets elected in this midterm, it's going to be a bloody miracle, if, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Because they all think like you do. Let's give away the country. But that's my thoughts. I'm trying to keep the rant semi-clean. You know, um, people that know me know my opinion. <clears throat> they know what I think and how I think. I'm all for America, the real America. Let's take the hyphens out of our name, throw that friggin' race card away, get over the past, let's build a better future. That doesn't mean changing everybody's opinion or what their gender is or whatever that is. If you're born with genitals hanging out, you're a boy. If you're born with genitals inside, you're a girl. You know? I don't care if you want to dress like a drag queen or whatever. I don't I don't give a shit. What you do in your own bedroom is up to you. You know, but if I had a kid in school and you start teaching this crap, I'd be laying a teacher out in the parking lot. You know? Let's, let's stop the brainwashing. Go back to actual education. Instead of teaching people they can get a major in how to arrange plants, tell them how to get a major in making a living. Get off your dead butts. Get a friggin' job. Get off the unemployment tit and the welfare tit. And let's get America back to work. That's my opinion for tonight. It's the old redneck. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. You can always email me at redneckrebel1956 at gmail.com or comment here. You send me an email, I'll answer it. You know, that's your opinion. And we're all, you know, luckily by the grace of God and our Constitution, we're all entitled to it. You know, you give somebody an opinion, you're liable to get an argument back. But I'm not going to tell you your opinion don't matter. You have to shut up, unlike the people nowadays. Y'all have a good night. Take care. And let's all remember the 13. Not only them, but let's remember everybody else that died in Afghanistan over this bullshit. You know? From this old vet to all the vets, I salute you. Welcome home no matter what shape you're in. You did good. You did your job. You did what you were told. Hold your head up high. I'm proud of you at least. Have a good night. Rebel out.